Hello, this is Ryan Riccatelli with ASNews.net and the Kite Porter Magazine, and we are in the Freak Dog booth. Freak Dog one, one of the new, uh, one of the new brands that's showing up here at Surf Expo and showing product. And um, this is one of the owners of Freak Dog. And why don't you, why don't you introduce yourself and then tell us a little bit about Freak Dog? I'm Scott Palera, and uh, basically we are EH North America. To keep it simple for everybody, it's EH North America. We reskinned it for uh, distributing purposes, but it's exactly the EH kites that everyone's been talking about. These are the 08s, so no surprises for the year. We might throw a third brand in there in the middle, but uh, these are the 08s, so if you buy them now, they're going to be good till next year. We're not expecting any real changes. Well, I know we just did a podcast on this, but uh, tell us a little bit real quickly about the Unleashed and the Vicious. The Unleashed is your freestyle, fast, high aspect ratio kite. Not really recommended for beginners. It'll turn on a dime, one hand. The Vicious is comparable to the EH Beast. It's the one they use in all the schools. It's a lighter wind, kind of grunty kite. For heavier riders or lighter wind, we have uh, 10, 12, and 15. 15 has been performing real well in Florida now. We finally got a chance to get them out there and give people's feedback. Um, that's pretty much the two. I mean, it's that simple. They're just simple, out of the box, ready to go. We the rumor is the Vicious is a really mean light wind kite, like the 15 meters. Tell, tell, tell a little bit about that. It just holds the power, and it's just... We've got a lot more effective area. It's an ultra flat, if we can use the term. <laughs> it's a third generation, so it's nothing new. They've been using them in Cabaretti for a long time. But uh, yeah, the 15 just holds. I'm 225 pounds and I can ride it on about 10, 11 miles an hour, which is something I've never been able to do before. So I'm using a, the 140 board and 10 to 11, 12 miles an hour and riding the 15 all day. So Show us the bar system. Simplicity once again. We like to keep everything simple. A couple, couple of key features. Spinning chicken. Untwist your center lines while you're riding. Keep it real simple. We do have a center line kill switch. It's attached to the chicken loop. If you release the chicken loop, everything goes off on your leash. Let everything go. The kite will spin and drop to the ground. I've seen guys recover it with the leash. And pull back and little Dominican kid. Oh yeah, <laughs> hanging by the leash, yeah. pulling everything back in and rehook it in. Um, this is probably the key. The deep power is super short, 100%, but still real short throw. A lot of people like that now because you don't have to swing way out there to deep power, so you can keep everything close, push it out a little bit. You're all set. Some of the guys are adjusting this to cut the deep power so you don't kill it all the way. With the Vicious, you're gonna have power kind of on the bar at all time, a lot of bar pressure. On the Unleashed, you have none. And that's, you either like it or you don't. You have little to no bar pressure. So, it's just keeping it simple. You got your handles. We do calibrate the bar in the beginning, put a little X on the line, fly it for a few hours. When you're done, bring the lines up one knot and you're back to calibration. Chicken leaf lays flat on the bar. Super dummy proof, front, back, left and right. I'm trying to keep it as, as easy as possible for everybody out there. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your boards? Well, this is our first first preview. First preview here, Surf Expo. We heard about these. These are the trackers. Yes, that's right. I'm from Florida, so we got the hurricane tracking map. <laughs> we got the 08 storm names already on here. <laughs> That's good. We got some stats from past storms. We got, you know, the whole map. These are wood core ABS aluminum fins. We may change the fins because we like our asymmetrics, but uh, at this point, they come complete. Pads, everything as you see it, just hook it up and go. We've got two sizes. 128 by 37 and a 140 by 40. That's cool. And then what board is this one? Is the same, That's all the same? The 140, oh, yeah. the 140. all right. See, uh, if you've ever been to Cabaretta, you've probably seen these guys out there, so we have them just for nostalgic reasons. That's the school boards they're using all over Cabaretta, the red boards. Well, awesome, man. I appreciate your time today. And uh, real quickly, tell it, every, everybody always asks me this, what's up with that Freak Dog? Tell us about why you named Freak Dog, Freak Dog. 
I'm gonna change my story every time you ask me. So <laughs> now this freak dog. First of all, I have three dogs. It was this girl that I met. No, right, right, right. <laughs> That's freaky. Oh, no. <laughs> now I have three dogs. They're all crazy. I went to Cabaretti. You see the dogs running around the beach. You see the guys, the locals with the crazy blonde dreads. Everybody. They call me when I walk down the beach to go, "Hey, freak dog, what's up?" And just kind of all stuck. And the freak dog name is just to take a little play. We're trying to be non-corporate kind of generic I'm not a pro kiter by any means so I'm not gonna put my name on the kite and be you know Scott kites or whatever so that was the whole idea we just wanted to get rid of all the rules break them a little bit go with the freak what I like about you is you, you, you bring a fun factor to the sport you don't take it too seriously you're out there to have fun but to bring solid product Eric Hertz and AH kites it's a, he's a solid designer and I mean some of the they got dog tags. Oh, yeah. I mean, they got this guy. He's gonna. Got heavy dog tags. It's gonna increase the fun to our sport. So I'm really glad to see you here, and it's it's awesome working with you. Appreciate it.